It's 11.30, so let's go ahead and get started. Sounds good. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Davis Homes Design Trends. Today, we're talking to our partners with Sims Lowman. We're gonna talk cabinets and countertops and design trends in your kitchen, wet bar, bathroom areas. So let's get started. Hi, everybody. My name's Jim Campbell, and I work with Sims Lowman, and I work closely with Davis Homes and helping them create the kitchens and, and supplying them with the countertops that they need for their customers. Uh, Sims Loman is the largest distributor uh, for master brand cabinetry in the United States and uh, we do about 50,000 kitchens a year and fabricate over 20,000 as well. Uh, we work with designers, builders, architects, and home centers uh, throughout the country. So today we're going to talk about cabinetry, quartz countertop, kitchens, bathrooms, other trending spaces other training spaces, and then we'll have some time for questions at the end. My name is Heather Reka. I'm the VP of Operations here at Davis Homes, and I have over 30 years of building experience in the construction industry here in Indianapolis. The other thing I want to mention is happy Cinco de Mayo Day. I know it's a little cold and rainy here in Indianapolis, but it is kind of appropriate that we're talking about kitchen spaces, food gathering places, um, so I think it's a good fit for today's topic. If you have any questions today, please feel free to email us at info at davishomes.com. And I did this a little bit ago, but here we go, Jim Campbell with the um, sales and design with Sims Lohman. Uh, I've got over 20 years experience in the cabinet business. Uh, I originally started in Naples, Florida and moved back to Indiana, which is my home. And I have been with Sims Loman for several years now. Uh, back to you, Heather. Ah, here we are. All right, so the cabinetry that, uh, that uh, Davis uses is Ristocraft cabinet. Uh, it's, it's a very confident choice. It's got a lot of solutions to it. It was founded in 1954. Uh, it's been in business for over 65 years. And it's actually locally owned and operated by Master Brands. It's in Southern Indiana. Uh, it's actually located in Ferdinand. Uh, cabinets come with a five-year warranty uh, and also too it is an environmental stewardship program certified which is actually becoming increasingly important in today's market as more and more consumers become uh, responsive to our environmental needs. Also the uh, Aristocraft offers several colors. Uh, actually, I'd like to say there's one great thing about working with Aristocraft and a master brand product is they constantly are updating their systems, which means you're getting a fresh look on color and the trends that are happening each year. Uh, Aristocraft offers 22 door styles. Uh, there's nine stains uh, and increasingly important, we're getting into the uh, pure style doors, uh, which offer you the painted look Without, without the painted product. All right, so the next product that we'd like to look at is the Silestone, which is a quartz. Uh, quartz is a man-made product and it, it is least, my, okay, so what we see in the trend is people liking the marble type look and what this product does is it gives you that natural appearance without the porous. So it, it is easier to clean uh, and it looks great. Uh, it is uh, increasingly becoming more and more uh, one of our top sellers in the marketplace. All right, as you can see there, there's colors to go over. Those are the standard colors. Uh, those are on the, uh, the Davis Builder Board. Uh, they are awesome colors. The Calcutta Gold is increasingly popular. Uh, uh, as you can see, there's nine choices. Thank you. Okay, today we're gonna to start with kitchen design trends. We're gonna show you some pictures from our recent centerpiece homes, as well as how some of our other customers have decorated their home. The kitchen is your gathering space. No more are we compartmentalized in that room. Nobody wants to be the person who's been voted to go get the chips and dip. You wanna be able to cook, you wanna be able to entertain and be able to visit with your guests. And we're showing you some design trends that allow you to have a functional kitchen, as well as a great meeting space and space for you to meet with your friends and family. 
Here is a picture from the 2020 Centerpiece Home. We hope that you all had a chance to make it out there, but if you didn't, we're looking at it and what you're seeing here is something new for us at Davis and that's the waterfall countertop. So that is a three-sided quartz uh, countertop for the island and then we have duet cabinets on the other side. But you can see light, bright, airy, a, a color palette that allows you to accent and change those colors for dishes, decor, things like that. And then it also helps set off that floor. You have a floor that has a lot of movements in it. And it, what it does is it just compares and contrasts without really uh, fighting each other. And it's still giving you a look of uh, cleanliness, peaceful feeling, but yet still beautiful for entertaining. Well said. And I think I might add to that too is uh, the warmth of the floor and also that they took that up in top to, to the floating shelves. As you, you give yourselves a, a, a pop of color. And one thing that we'll notice as we go throughout the slides is that if, if you're looking for to introduce some color, a good way to do that is exactly the way Davis did it right here with the floating shelves and then integrate that appearance for you pulled for the same colors from the floor up into the cabinetry. This is a kitchen that a customer of ours did recently, and you can see that they wanted to accent, again, the island. Islands are becoming furniture pieces. That is a statement piece in your kitchen. They're getting bigger, and they're also getting more open and available to be able to sit around, stand around, and also cook and prep space. This customer used an oversized uh, furniture piece for the uh, overhangs of the island on the nook side, so it gives it a, a very stately and warm look. And you can again see, we've got a nice contrast to the floor, to the lighter cabinets, and with the uh, pendant lighting and the can lighting in the kitchen, it's a bright, open workspace. Again, it's a, it's a classic look. And as, as trends have happened, uh, the kitchen, like, like Heather said, has, has become a main place for you know, uh, families to gather. So the islands have become a lot larger. And uh, as again, as we go throughout the slides, you'll notice the, uh, all the islands. Now, this particular island is actually two cabinets back to back, and you can't tell that the way that's been put together. Uh, and it allows for ample seating and gathering. Uh, again, when we're looking at the contrast, you have natural wood, you have the tile backsplash. Um, you know, this kitchen is one of those that could be a designer kitchen. It could be a kitchen that you're in cooking in every day. Um, not that we're here to talk about other products, but everything that you're seeing in this kitchen is available through Davis Homes. These are our standard appliance packages. So if you are that budding gourmet and you like to cook at home, and right now I think we're all having to do that, um, this allows you a lot of flexibility. You still see that kitchen, that prep space. You've got the dishwasher next to the, um, next to the sink. Uh, farmhouse sinks are becoming increasingly popular as well. We allow you that flexibility to mix and match those kinds of options to really give you a personalized feel to that kitchen. If cooking's not your thing, hey, you don't need to have that. We have slide in range packages that still work very nicely with this particular kitchen layout. I think Sims Loman does a great job with working with us and our customers to make sure we're getting the kitchen to function the way that that family needs it to. And I might add that I think this is a perfect example from the show home of how versatile that the Aristocraft product is uh, and how many SKUs that they offer because we're able to put together this whole kitchen and it is all Aristocraft and it's beautifully done. As you can see by our pictures, painted cabinets are becoming increasingly popular. There's gray, there's white, there's off-white, and then we're really excited that this summer we're going to introduce navy. Aristocraft has a cabinet color in the navy blue. Um, you're going to see some other slides. If you want to use, again, that island as a statement piece, it can be an opposite color of the, of the perimeter cabinets. So this customer is looking at light, bright, airy, functional kitchen. You've got the cooktop there. We know that they like to cook. Um, nice contrast again to that wood floor and really making sure that that kitchen works as a kitchen. But you can see by the overhang, there's still plenty of space to 
eat, to gather, to do homework, and really still be the hub and the lifeblood of the, of the home. Well said. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that I could add much more to that, Heather, than what you just said. Here's a great example of customers who, again, the, as you see, the islands are the focal points. It really is a space that is, allows for a lot of different activities. But uh, this customer actually did the opposite or did a contrasting island. So it stands out nicely up against the white cabinets. Again, still very neutral with the floors and the decor. If somebody wanted to throw red in there because you're an IU fan or black and gold because you're a Purdue fan, you have the ability to do that because you, you have a clean color palette here on the expensive items. These uh, items like your cabinets, like your countertops, those are all investment pieces. We want you to be able to personalize that and, and use the colors and, and the options that we have available so that you can use that for years to come. You can always change out the dishes, you can always change out the towels, and this allows you a lot of flexibility. But again, it's a beautiful statement piece for this kitchen. Absolutely. And, and I'm gonna add to the island. Uh, a lot of times the islands are the transitional pieces to the next room. And a lot of times you, somebody will choose a, a, a darker paint, a stain or whatever it is, and that allows them to be more flexible with the furniture that you see from the other room. Because most rooms now are great rooms. They open up and you see the other space. Here's the opposite of how to contrast a kitchen where we have the warm wood tones on the perimeter of the kitchen and then we have the painted look on the island. And you can see that uh, you're starting to see probably browns and grays kind of work together. We used to never mix those warm colors and cool colors, and now you see that. It's a gray countertop that goes very well with, with those color palettes. And so you have a warm, inviting space. The space is also a little more contemporary. So we've showed a lot of farmhouse, a lot of white, but you can see you start to introduce those other colors like stainless steel, the stainless steel farmhouse sink, um, you've got the bronze faucets, the black uh, appliances are a little more sleek and contemporary. So again, that color palette that you're doing in your kitchen can be personalized in a way that allows you to, um, to design it to your taste. You can see we have options for things like glass doors. So if you want, if you have display pieces that you want to show off, there's a, uh, options to do those kinds of things. You're not spending a lot of money, but it's really making an impact on your kitchen. And again, this kitchen opens up to the dining area. It opens up to the great room. So there's a lot of uh, visibility to this space. And you can see that it's a beautiful uh, space that you can do a lot of different things. Yeah, and I really love the use of, of the color in here. Uh, we hadn't seen a bunch of it up until now to where you were going to notice that a lot of the warm tones and or what I would refer to as Mother Nature uh, wood tones have been introduced into our marketplace. And we're seeing more and more increasingly people do the transition either on the island or on the perimeter cabinets. And like Heather said, th this is kind of, it's a clean line, but it has a traditional feel to the fact that we've done a stagger on it. Uh, and, and to break up the cabinetry on the wall, they've done some glass doors and they've added color with the backsplash. Uh, turned out it's a marvelous kitchen. The other thing I like about this kitchen is they're all standard options that we have available. Everything that we're looking at here today is in our standard offering, whether it's the white painted, whether it's the burlap, whether it's the glass doors or the, uh, the crown, the, you know, the different sink styles. We allow you, again, you have all these options so you can really tailor your kitchen and your look to how you want it to be. Bathroom designs. Here's the place where we all want to go to retreat at the end of a long, tough day. And for some of us, we might be escaping other family members, and you want this to feel like a retreat. And we allow that flexibility as well. Um, you can see some design trends from, again, um, recent centerpiece homes and models. But again, they're warm, they're inviting, but they're also very relaxing. And your, your master suite should reflect that. Yeah, and as you can see, when, you, when you're looking at the master suite here, uh, that's definitely a design that, that 
I would work directly with the designers at, at Davis, getting exactly to the point of what the customer is looking to do, uh, pass along the design work to them, and voila, we have this, I think, I believe this is the 2019 design home. Uh, bathroom turned out beautifully. Again, nice contrast of colors. You can see in the foreground, you've got this tile that's white with a little bit of gray to it, and you've got the warm wood tones of the vanities, which we made look like a piece of furniture. Again, it has that spa-like quality. It allows separate spaces for uh, each person in the bathroom and then still a place to store towels. So you can design elements in that bathroom without actually having a linen closet. Not all plans have that, or maybe we didn't think about that as we're redesigning with you. So these are all opportunities to again, personalize that bathroom and still be functional for you. Heather, that's a good point because if you're looking at the countertops that were used in this bathroom, there, there was a lot of thought that went into the gray work area, so to speak, as the wet areas. And then they used the same, we used the same countertop on the elevated drawer base uh, and, and into the uh, little kitchenette that's in the master. And then if you look over to the left, you have a coffee bar. And most people think that is a luxury. Mm -hmm. Again, we're using standard options. We're using our, our offering that we have now. And we can devise spaces and design spaces like this for you in your master suite, in your master bathroom, um, places where you can put your coffee bar, you know, place to start your day, especially if you have a place that you're sitting in your master suite or uh, we have a lot of people um, designing spaces off their master bedrooms, decks and covered porches, things like that. Now you're not walking through the entire house to get that, grab that cup of coffee or tea and start your day. Again, here's another great look that even though this bathroom has a linen closet tucked around the corner, this is a 2020 centerpiece home, we have a, a, a tower storage that's great for incidentals, but then it also has nice storage for towels, um, larger items, shampoo bottles, things like that, that you might be storing. So again, it allows a very custom, very luxurious look, but all within the standard design of our home. These are all options that you can continue to offer, continue to personalize in your bathroom. Again, colors, we're mixing and matching those warm tones with a nice white, bright countertop with gray walls. So you can see how all those elements start to come together and look just gorgeous together. Absolutely. And if you look, the, the door style is what is known as a shaker door. And it comes with a slab drawer front. It is available with the five-piece drawer front as an option. Uh, that being said is when you're designing a, a space and you're thinking to yourself, am I going to go traditional, contemporary, modern? Uh, you can do that design element with the shaker style door based upon the other products you use around it. Like right here, they chose the gray tile on the back wall uh, and the white countertop. It gives it more of a sleek appearance. So it, it's gonna be more of a, a transitional slash modern appearance. And while we're throwing a lot of this at you, we do have two designers here at Davis Homes. So if you're looking at these things and saying, hey, I really like the master bathroom in the 2020 centerpiece home, how do I get that look? They're going to help you through that. Maybe you don't want the wood tones. Maybe you want white and you want to have a countertop that looks great with that. They're going to be here to help you. They do personalized tours with each of our customers so that you understand and know exactly what you're getting, what that design looks like. Then we send that over to Jim, who's going to actually do the drawing for us, for you to, re to review and make sure that is exactly what you want. So that when we install those kitchens, those bathrooms, those other work areas, it's exactly what you're expecting. Absolutely. And I, and I really, looking at this picture here with the, uh, this is the, the Jack and Jill bath from the 2020 uh, home show. And this is the spa look. And this is just an, another Another example of how versatile the Aristocraft line is to where we can do the open shelving in the middle uh, to give you that spa effect. Uh, and then, of course, all the other design elements that, that Davis Homes put around it. Here's another situation where a double bowl vanity can sometimes be a double bowl vanity, can be a double bowl vanity. So what do we do? 
we look at that mirror, we offer framed mirrors. We can do a full tile backsplash behind the entire vanity. You look at the, the, uh, the lighting, you look at the uh, quartz and the undermount bowls. So now you take a double bowl vanity and you turn it into something spectacular. And you can do that with different options. We have different tile levels. Um, Jim, we have marble even if we want. You can put door hardware on there. So you can see that you can take a double bowl vanity and you can trick it out to look like a million bucks. And, and if you've noticed, a lot of the countertops that we've shown you uh, this afternoon have actually been uh, a quartz countertop. There was one a couple slides back that was a granite and it's called Viscount White, which is a very popular granite. A lot of Davis customers use that granite. So you could have introduced some more uh, character into this if you used maybe possibly a granite that had some movement to it. Other than that, it's it's a really well done bathroom. It's got a lot of a lot of color and a lot of character. Another example of here's a great example, Jim, of, of the granite. So you have movement in it. It's a great contrast to the cabinets, which are a stone or gray color. Look what doing putting some door hardware on there um, can do for a cabinet too. Those are full overlay drawers like Jim was talking about. So they can be a little bit more difficult to open. So we have a full line of door hardware to help you just continue to further, you know, kind of that's the jewelry to the cabinets and put that on. And then you see the full tile wall behind the mirrors. Again, a great look, million bucks in all standard options that we offer. And this is another perfect example. I think when, when, you've, when you've put the hardware on, uh, there's a couple different ways that I think about decorative hardware when it comes to cabinet design and, and layout is, do I want the cabinets to, to make the appearance? So is, is that what I want people to see? Well, this is one of those to where the decorative hardware that pulls from the color on the, on the wall and it pulls from the granite. So you really see that hardware it stands out and, and, and it makes like, hey, here I am. It, it looks great. Uh, like I said, there's a couple different ways you think about that. Some people prefer not to have the hardware make a statement. This is a statement piece. Okay, next are some design trends that we're seeing. We've introduced these in our centerpiece homes, but people have followed along and trying to find um, different areas where you can have more entertaining space, such as wet bars, uh, other gathering spaces, and then also kitchenettes in bath, in, uh, excuse me, in bonus rooms, in uh, finished basement areas, and then other large rooms in, in the home that you can um, add and, and option up some of these other design areas. Yeah, as, as the market goes and, and people uh, become more informed about their areas, uh, I think that that's one thing that Davis has really done well and is, is those niche spaces come up with uses because that's what people are looking for. Hey, what are we going to use this space for? It's there. So now we have functional spaces now and we can use those for, you know, kitchenettes, little wet bars, uh, what have you, cigar bars, more and more of those design aspects I'm seeing integrated into uh, our custom type homes. This flex suite kitchenette from the centerpiece home from this year is another great example of kind of having an open area. Um, the flex suite has a, has a living space. You still have a place to have coffee in the morning. We've had people talk about this is where the kids coming home from college are gonna be. This is where maybe mom's gonna live out her years. It, maybe it's an Airbnb space, depending on where you live. So what we've done is tried to combine, hey, here's a space you don't need a full functional kitchen, but you still want cold drinks, maybe a microwave to, you know, uh, cook that egg in the morning, but it's still a place that people can sit, they can gather, they can read the newspaper here. Um, and then you can see, again, the use of warm tones with the painted wood, with the wood shelf. Um, that is a wood shelf running the, that entire span with some uh, tile backsplash and just doing some different heights. Uh, really, again, uh, customizes that look without it being a, a full custom kitchen. And if you notice what they've done here is it's, 
we've used the colored cabinets, which is the painted cabinets, uh, a lot of times throughout, and you pull your color in with the shelving, with the floor, uh, with your accoutrements, so, would you, so to speak. Uh, Basement lofts and kitchenettes have become extremely popular and you don't always need an island for these spaces. So this is a great look from our 2019. This was actually up in the loft. If you have an oversized room loft um, basement area that maybe is going to be where you're going to watch movies or that's going to be the poker room, you don't want a whole lot of cabinets taking up the area. You can see what eight or nine feet worth of cabinets um, look like. Again, it looks spectacular. You're using uh, standard finishes and features that we offer uh, in the home. And then the other thing about this particular door is this is a full slab door. So again, contemporary, clean look, still warm and in tones that we offer and uh, we see a, a high volume of selection for. Again, Heather, you, you put it beautifully. This, this door style has become increasingly popular and it is available in, in the painted finishes as well. So it can give you that modern appearance. Uh, and again, we have kind of a transitional step slash modern appearance here with this door, but this door can go any way you want to, but you'll see it more of this door in a modern setting. Okay, who doesn't need to unwind after a long, tough day? So beverage centers for wine and cocktails has become increasingly popular. Um, when, in some of our plans, we may have two closets. So we can take, we can leave one coat closet for you. The other space can be like you see here. This is actually, we took out the closet. I'm going up behind the stairs and we turned it into a cocktail center. So you can see you don't need a whole lot of room there. We're talking three feet and you have a, a uh, drawer stack, you have an under cabinet wine cooler or beverage cooler, and then you have plenty of uh, shelf space, design space, wine storage. Um, so again, you're not going all the way into the kitchen. If the kitchen is busy or that's where food's being served and you want to separate that area, but look, it's right open to the great room so that your guests are never far away from you or from the hub of the kitchen or where entertainment may be happening in the living room. And again, I think this goes back to no, no wasted space. Uh, we definitely got the cabinets uh, that, can, that can fit your needs when it comes to finding it for that space that you need it for. Again, we talked about earlier that one of our, um, our other uh, centerpiece home had a beverage center. Here we have one in the master bedroom. Again, it's not too far from the living area of a covered porch off the back, but it allows you without having to walk across that kitchen, walk across the great room to the kitchen. You've got your coffee and you're ready to start your day. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about the open shelves. Uh, we've, we've seen it a couple times throughout. And if you think to yourself, there's been an elimination of, of, of upper cabinets sometimes in, in the uh, kitchens and that is a trend and, and you notice why is that well it's because of well the millennials that are hitting the market now and buying homes uh, are starting to prefer base cabinets now it's bleeding into the other markets so what are you going to use in your base cabinet drawers uh, and a combination of drawers and base cabinetry but the open shelving allows you a place to put your knickknacks uh, you know your your, your pictures, things like that, and it's easily accessible. So it's easy to get to. Uh, now I myself, I probably wouldn't go well with the upper cabinetry because I, I, I'm probably not neat enough when it comes to that kind of stuff. But it's definitely a trend that I believe is going to be here to stay. I think the other cool design feature, if you don't mind backing up Bridget, I forgot to mention this, um, again, we could have put drywall behind there and just painted it the wall color, but there's beadboard behind there. So you, again, you really can with standard options, you can make those spaces look like a million bucks. And there is really no limit. If you wanted two shelves there, you could do that. If you didn't want the beadboard, because you're going to paint it black behind there. 
you know, there's all different things and there's a way for you to be creative. We can help you be as creative as you want to be. We can do that for you. And then some of you that want to do it after you close, great. We're going to give you the bones and then you have a blank canvas to design how you want. Laundry room design trends. Uh, we're starting to see a lot of this as well. Um, as you can see from this picture here, um, those of us that have animals, uh, we sometimes treat them better than we do ourselves. And we have spaces that allow for uh, animals. Uh, you can see here, we have some base cabinets again with more shelving, but we have playful um, decor behind that. Those are all the types of things that, um, that we offer. Um, and then you can see, again, granite on the countertop. You could do laminate there. You could do quartz there. Um, and then it, it kind of, what it does is just offers you another place to, to um, put stuff as you're bringing your dog in. You can see this one had a dog wash next to it. And um, that's been a very popular option for us as well. So you start to integrate this back hallway that might have just been kind of a dumping area of your book bags and and ski gear and things like that. And now we've turned it actually into a pet retreat. So not only do you have your retreat that we can design for you, but we've got a place for your animals as well. So again, we have the dog spa there. Um, you can see Fido, he's, we actually notched out a space underneath those stairs. Um, so here at Davis Homes, while we're not necessarily a custom builder, we do allow a lot more personalization than maybe some other builders in town. So when you look at our plans, we can help you design those areas that make sense for you and your family. Again, another great utility room that we could have just left and yeah, put in a unit, a, unit, uh, a slop sink. And instead, here we are and showing a little more decor with more options available. We've got the two-tone cabinets. Um, this is actually a laminate countertop, but you can see how beautiful it all works together. Um, we have the, the uh, shelf on top of the, the laundry to give you a place to fold clothes. So really, this becomes another hub for you to be able to uh, be organized, stay organized, um, have a safe place again for your pets if need be, but then it has plenty of storage as well for upper cabinets in this room. Yeah, and I also would like to add, I think the laundry room is, has been an area, like Heather said, that's, that gets neglected a lot. Uh, and, and it's an area that I, I personally like to do laundry, which is kind of a strange thing, but I'd like my laundry room to be a different. So, you know, there's a use of color in here that you don't normally see. Uh, and it is that it's, it's an opportunity to do something different. Uh, and I really love the use of the uh, soft white cabinets, antique cabinets, along with the burlap. Uh, it turned out beautifully. And uh, I, I really can't say enough. This is actually one of my favorite laundry rooms. Work from home, it's something on everybody's mind. Even uh, those of us at Davis Homes, we have quite a few employees that are working from home during this time. Um, so you have a space. This is actually up in a hallway of a two-story. We, we, we probably can look around our own home and see that now. And what we've done is we've turned that blank hallway into a hub that could be for your kids doing their homework as they're being homeschooled right now. This can be your area. It could be a combination of those. So you're, again, you're looking at a, a, a cabinet that is does not cost a lot of money. It's a configuration that works for this space and, al and allows for flexibility. You put on some beautiful uh, door hardware and it looks like a million bucks. The other cool thing that Jim can talk about too is um, this is a Formica countertop and Formica is not your butcher block and your old orange and gold kind of colors. This is a laminate countertop and you can see the sheet behind the desk area there, that's actually magnetic. So there's a lot of cool things that Formica brand is doing um, that allows you to, again, be creative and really use that space. And then up above there, we've got some chalkboard paint so that you can write, um, save messages, have the laundry list uh, ready for your kids, um, their to-do list. Um, so again, this is a space that you could do just so many different things with, but 
instead of leaving just a blank corner and just throwing a desk in there, we can help you design for these kinds of areas and really make that home as functional as possible. Yeah. Also too, you know, when, when you're looking at this space, there's a lot of thought that went into this. So that means the communication between me and Davis was really good about figuring out what, okay, what do we want for that space? And that's what we do here. You have to tell me, what do you want for your space? Okay. And then we'll put together a package that will allow you to use that space as such. Uh, and to bring back the, uh, the countertop thing, uh, we offer, we do offer, we offer all kinds of laminates at Sims Loman as well. Uh, really any of your countertop needs, we can meet that. Again, home offices are becoming more and more um, necessary, more and more popular. Um, and so that den that we offer in a particular floor plan, we can help you design that area to make it more functional for you and for your family. I'd like to talk a little bit about use of color here. Uh, you notice that, that traditionally that you're going to see a lot of dark woods uh, and mahoganies and type stuff in, in, in the uh, home office area. Here we used a Landon door style, which is a traditional overlay uh, when what I'd call a picture frame door in a maple with a, with a flagstone, which is a gray brown stain. So it picks up, picks up on the wood tones but it offers you that dark appearance and it's a very soothing cabinet color. As a crafter, I love this space. This was in the 2020 centerpiece home. You can see there's a place to sit. You can wrap presents, you can create a wreath. Um, maybe it's a, a, again, a quiet place where you're gonna figure out uh, where your next vacation's coming from. We've taken a, the back space out of the Woodford plan that was just kind of open and a, and a blank palette. So we provide these kinds of opportunities for you to really, again, personalize that space and use it. And for some people, maybe it's the butler's pantry. Maybe it is a serving area and you've got a microwave and another um, refrigerator there. Those are, that's the kind of flexibility that Davis Homes allows you um, to design into your homes and use, utilize these spaces for what you need it to be, not what we think you should have, but what you want it to be. Another example of versatility and design uh, all brought together with, with Davis that made this craft room happen. And I'd agree with Heather, I love this craft room as well. Uh, it turned out really, really well. For those that uh, didn't see it, uh, I believe that there's pictures of this on the website as well, is that correct? Yes, it is. Yes, okay. All right, so I would recommend that if you can see this whole room, it, it, it turned out really well. It's one of my favorites. Thanks. So in closing on, my name's Jim Campbell, and I'm Sims Loman, and I thank you for your time. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me at jcampbell at simsloman.com, or you can call me on my cell, 317-670-2081. Uh, uh, and Instagram is at Sims Loman, uh, or you can just go on to hashtag Sims Loman as well. Uh, and the website is simsloman.com. Thank you for your time. Thank you everybody for joining Davis Toms today. We hope you enjoyed this lunch and learn about cabinets and some of the products that we offer and with our partner Sims Loman. If you're interested in finding out more about Davis Homes, you can email newhome at davishomes.com. You can call us at 317-548-HOME or we're on Instagram at davis underscore homes and hashtag davis homes. And of course our website, davishomes.com. Thank you all for joining us today. Our next Design Trends event We'll be next week and we'll be working on flooring with America's Floor Source, our flooring partner. We'll talk about design trends, flooring opportunities, and products again to continue to personalize your new Davis home.